Here we see them for checking uh, and disrupting the attack pattern of uh, uh, Firenze. So another call. And as I told told to before, you're welcome, Carl. Uh, thanks for listening to us. Uh, no sound shuttering today. I'm happy about that. Woohoo! Yeah, Carl. But still the music in the background. Uh, I will uh, inform our guys. Jungs, we have no music in the background. Ah. Okay, I just found the source of the music. Here we go. Ha. So I switched off the music and found the source of the music. It was right in front of me on the table, a little uh, MP3 player. Um, Uh, can you find, uh, Akar is asking me if you can find the number of name of the scorer you mean in this uh, uh, game or uh, altogether. I uh, actually, um, I, right here in this game, I don't uh, see uh, all the numbers of the scorer. I can uh, uh, probably ask uh, someone to find out the scorer from the first game here, but um, um, we have no direct line to the referee table. That's also something we want to establish in the future. Um, okay, let's go back in the game. This is uh, Firenze now uh, going uh, uh, with a lot of purpose for uh, the um, Austrian basket, but the uh, forechecking defense from Austria keeps them uh, away. And uh, we have now a cluster on the surface. Uh, I don't see who initiated it, but I see um, both teams trying to push the cluster in direction uh, in, the, in the direction they prefer. And now we have uh, a lot of um, um, uh, Firenze players uh, uh, pushing, but the ball dropped down and Firenze is uh, uh, owning the ball and going for the basket of Austria, but is intercepted by uh, the forechecking of uh, the Austrian uh, uh, Offense. So um, I see a little advantage here for uh, um, uh, Austria right now. Uh, Firenze is lacking uh, the uh, the bite, uh, the the push to go for a goal. And now we have uh, three, four Austrian players um, going for a counter attack. Don't know, don't know why they lost the ball. Didn't see if there was an interception uh, of Firenze, but uh, Austria seems a little bit uh, more into the game now after a good start from uh, Italy. Um, but uh, the 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 will to score and uh, the the ability to score uh, is in favor here of uh, Austria right now. But now we have a counter attack again from Firenze and the call from the referee. Um, Ah, this is the end of the first half. Sorry, I didn't check the, the time. Time is uh, going really fast. So uh, here you morning, see everybody. Lorena with me. Sorry, Welcome, Lorena. isn't it supposed to be 1-0 for uh, Vienna? When I was, uh, I was yes, uh, in the... Yes, it's 1-0 for Vienna. Ah, okay. ah, no, okay, because it wasn't shown. And uh, they just lost the ball. This is the, the risk of using a scramble in three against one. It should be, if at all, I mean, for before the, the been fighting like that it's better just to swim with the ball but if you get to a cluster like better is to have one team one, one, uh, like, uh, <laughs> one player <laughs> of each team and not three or two it's just as a completely um, loss of manpower and then the ball gets lost and then you have no one uh, and diving and I'm, this I'm is where I'm we need the people I'm, I'm really surprised here um, uh, of the uh, that uh, Vienna is making some more pressure because Vienna yes. is a new team. Vienna well, they, has they been existing really three. Well, uh, no, but I mean compared to, to, to Firenze, compared to Firenze, three or four years old uh, team, and Firenze has uh, at least 10, 12 years of experience. So you would believe that um, Firenze should be able to uh, have more. Um, 
tactical skills, uh, maybe could be able to do more pressure. Now we have one Italian uh, attacker uh, on the goalie of the uh, Vienna team, but uh, she was pulled away successfully. And now they are uh, fighting in the third phase. Uh, there's uh, just the defender and the goalie uh, of Vienna protecting the basket, and uh, there's some for taking. Uh, successful for taking, they recover the ball and they are trying to start a counter, uh, counter attack. Um, but uh, Italy is, uh, is fighting and recover the ball, and they are now returning towards the basket of, of Vienna. It's one, two Italians against two Vienna. Italy is attacking from above and is trying to pull. Uh, to make a pass, but uh, the uh, replaced goalie just made it on time and covered the basket. The next Italian player is coming with the ball, and that's a good attack, but even though the um, Vienna uh, goalie tried to hold the arms uh, underneath the ball, almost inside the basket, uh, the player from Italy was faster, and they achieved a goal. Uh, this is what I mean. Um, Italy normally I mean, have more tactical experience than, than Vienna, on, 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 I mean, from what I know from them. So I was very surprised that they were not achieving to do this wave, and we just saw it in the last minute. They kept, they, they, they kept uh, coming into waves, and uh, even though Vienna is doing a good job, uh, they did not have really uh, the, the strength to hold, and now we have 1-1. One, one. So still everything is open. We have a timeout, poorly uh, asked uh, by the Vienna team. And um, I, I don't remember how much time is left, but about five, ten, six minutes, something like this. So everything is still open uh, in this game. They're playing uh, for the position 7 to 9, Firenze, Vienna and uh, the black mermaid we have the triangulars um, between the three of them um, and then also between uh, the other six teams um, so one second left now six minutes from the second half of this first game of the champions cup um, i'm not fully awake but i'm getting there uh, let me sip a little bit of coffee and, and green tea and, 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 and half an hour Probably I will be there. I just met one of the Firenze uh, players that were exhausted because they played so late last night. I mean, Firenze against Zurich and Zurich won. They, we finished at midnight yesterday. And uh, even though the, the, the girls have their the early game this morning for the coach, I, I came with her with them. It's almost maybe five hours of, of uh, sleep and that's, that's not a lot. All right, so a free throw against uh, Firenze. Firenze needs to keep focus and needs to keep doing the game. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, there's the risk that's that they don't win this game. And I believe the Italian had lost enough <laughs> and that the, they don't want to lose um, an, another game. Um, for our ball against newer teams, uh, or teams that in the past were not as uh, experienced as them. So uh, we have uh, the goalie in position. I this uh, another yes, there's an Austrian player under the goalie, but uh, they just lost the ball. And Italy is fighting. Uh, there's two Italians against two, you know, and then the ball fell down. And that's what you have to be because it fell down. And of the next uh, Italian attacker. She went too fast, too up, too above the goalie. I mean, it would have been a great attack from underneath on the back, and that ball would have been in. And these are the kind of situations that you cannot um, afford to lose because now it's a counter attack. Uh, they are all in a rush. Um, they have all white there uh, around the, the the goalie of the Italians, and these kind of situations um, are being uh, really. Um, um, at, um, I mean, the, the, the Viengers are really taking advantage of these kind of situations, and, and Italy needs to be more focused and, and more um, disciplined in and, and, and the, and their attack and in the ball positions because they are not that much stronger uh, than Vienna. And Vienna, I've, I've played against them. Uh, they f they're very fighty. I mean, they don't give up, they continue uh, fighting, recovering the ball until the very last second. So you cannot really uh, get comfortable. 
Let's see. Uh, Vienna is still attacking on the Italian basket. They go over the close corner. Uh, they are taking the time. Mm, they are being in possession of the ball. If York will be here, so if you're in possession of the ball, then there's the no risk for you to <laughs> have a goal. Now we have an attacker trying to pull up the goalie of the Italian team, but the Italian defender is fighting for the ball. Uh, the Vienna girl could withdraw, but uh, the, the ball fell and um, the Italians are trying to start a counter-attack, but uh, the Vienna girls are interfering now. Uh, they are um, about three meters away uh, from the basket of Vienna. The sun is shining through the water. Look what beautiful. Sorry. Continue with the game. <laughs> Italy is trying to keep those waves coming on and attacking, but uh, they need to have more people underneath the water to, to be able to pass the ball a bit faster. If you are too static, then we have again this cluster, these fights. They interrupt the game flow and then you cannot uh, create uh, the needed pressure to break through the defense of, of, the, of uh, the team. So let's see, on the surface, and as a free throw, there's a free throw against Italy. The goalie is into position, and uh, Vienna is trying to approach and get closer. They're three meters away, and uh, the Italian Checkers are doing a good job, recover the ball, and they are trying to start a, a counter attack. But they almost okay, that they almost lost the ball, but recover. But the problem is, these counter attacks take too long, so they allow the, the Vien team to get into position. Uh, they need to, to do this a little bit faster, but it's one and a half minute left, and I don't see that um, that can be possible. Um, to change the, the uh, this score one to one. I mean, this is uh, an attack from from Italy. We have three big players from Firenze, which is uh, a good thing. But they were too slow, and they were not really um, eager to get and and <laughs> and and do an attack and, and provoke the the score. They were just kind of diving there, getting there. I mean, they need to be a little bit more away, a little bit more aggressive because the time is running out and they will go to penalties. And it could be the in penalties, they are the more experienced team, so I would bet on Italy. But, I mean, I've been playing the Champions Cup a few times, and believe me, you do not want to go to penalties. It's stressful and I love the game. You have all this uh, stress and want to win and have a, a safe win and not to leave it a little bit to lack. Uh, Probably if you were dominating the game. So well, it, this is this is one of the the chance now. Uh, we see uh, Feve. She's one of the top scorers uh, from uh, Firenze, and uh, she should be able to to score here in the last 15 seconds. Now we see the probably the last attack before we go into the this this is the last attack, the last chance for Firenze to uh, score. They did score. They did score. Whoa, this is incredible. This is just uh, no. I mean, it's one, two seconds. Two seconds before the no, end of the four game. Four seconds before the end of the game. We have done uh, a, a, a score nine seconds against. Of of I know. Before. I know you do it better than the rest of no, us. No, but no, no. We don't do it better. <laughs> we had similar situation. No. But nevertheless, I'm always astonished um, in these. When things these happen. No, but this is what I was predicted. Sorry. No, you you're interrupting me. I said mm, yes. I said Jan, that. Jan, if are you online? Lorena if interrupted me. If Italy. Now, we if Italy would keep coming into waves, they could break the defense of, of Vienna. I mean, I said that, but they were not able to build up uh, this kind of wave for many, for, for, for long. That was Go ahead, nevertheless sorry, Wolf. Yeah, continue. 